Yeah, thank you for the kind introduction. And uh, unfortunately, Fabian couldn't join, but he may be there in the evening, and uh, you can uh, uh, question him uh, difficult. Uh, you can ask difficult questions uh, to him and technical issues. Um, and to the, the talk before, uh, I'm connected because I'm neighbor of the Sprachatlas somehow, and there's another connection in fine tuning at the end of the talk. Uh, we made an interface called images.ai, which should solve a bit the problem of um, neural or transformer networks with art, because when you put in uh, art or a data set of art into it, a lot of different uh, dimensions are entangled. Style, iconography, technique, and um, uh, even the way of... Uh, the reproduction of, of the image uh, plays a certain role. And so we thought, how could we um, give into the artistry uh, community a simple uh, tool, or a simple to use tool, and how could we implement human uh, machine interaction in it so that you can disentangle these different dimensions um, in the process. And so, um, uh, the good thing is that you have a very m minimal uh, form where you can um, choose from the data set what you are searching for or upload something. And you can also give negative examples. For example, I don't want class. So um, I only want ceramics, for example. And um, so you can search with positive and negative. And a, a small detail, you can also, of course, search through different representations or objects, other real objects, and also objects which are represented in art. Yeah, and this is how it works. Uh, you put these things up and can also come with that to a small corpora of, your, uh, of things you are interested in, and you can search across different data sets. Because our idea is that we want a double modular system which includes various data sets, uh, mainly, of course, open access data sets, and um, various embeddings. So you see we have the Rijksmuseum and the Metropolitan Museum, and when you make an account, you can also look into MoMA and Smithsonian. And we have various embeddings, and this is uh, where you can explore, because every of these has different um, competences and specialties to to find something, and uh, you can such enrich your um, data, your search results by choosing uh, clever between these things. For example, with these sculptures, it's good to use these poses, and um, sometimes even the neural network may be better than a transformer, and in this modular system, we really can uh, hang in more of these models, and of course, uh, through time, also more of these uh, data sets. Yeah, and this is um, especially good for, for abstract art because it's often not described in the metadata. You won't find uh, these, these different yeah, flows or blobs or, or sketches, and so you, you can find them easily, and also here can make also a negative side. I don't want it too sketchy or too um, whatever. Um, since um, it came out, we integrated CLIP in this uh, models. Um, you all may know it because it's a very famous OpenAI uh, product, um, and it brings together digital humanities somehow because it uh, brings together the text world and the image world and builds a matrix uh, between them so that you can search with a text prompt images, or you can also get words by images, or you can uh, make descriptions, which is also good to, to uh, make metadata automatic. We have this uh, prompt to image uh, thing here. And um, for those who are not so familiar with that, you don't have um, to do, uh, it has nothing to do with the metadata. It's just a pre turned network, and uh, everything comes out of the model and not from the metadata from Rijks Museum or MoMA or whatever. So we can search after an artist, and the interesting thing here is we don't only get August Thunder, we of course also get the edge from 
August Sander to other photographers. And this is what I find very interesting and explorative, that uh, it's not like metadata, where you will cut uh, everything out, which is not uh, the word you are searching for. And um, Fabian has a very flamboyant Foucault um, uh, uh, re uh, result here. He was uh, searching for the Meninas in Velasquez, and he gets a reception, an homage of it from um, Richard Hamilton, who at the same time is also referring on Picasso's uh, homage. Um, but he also gets this photograph, which has this whole idea and concept of Las Meninas in it, with the mirror and the reflections and the um, play between fewer and so on. This may be, uh, yeah, lucky uh, thing, something by chance, but it shows that um, clip sometimes really can learn concepts. For example, here we search for rhythm, and we get really things which may have to do with rhythm. And we uh, can do funny things, which is good perhaps for museums, where people don't want to ask in art, art historical terminology, but just want to know what are pictures of a happy family. And clip can a bit count. You can say crucifixion with a large crowd, and you get many people. And it also can somehow identify Mary and John and show you only crucifixions with these two people or perhaps three. And we doesn't, uh, don't want to make it uh, very opaque, because you know all these black box um, uh, concepts of um, AI. And so we made this heat map. That, uh, that explains clip, and you see this bicycle is found because of these regions in the picture, and of course in the Rijksmuseum there are no many bicycles, but we understand why all these uh, other uh, wagons and ca uh, cars uh, come up here. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I think I'm very fast, I have to slow down perhaps. Um, <laughs> But we have outlook and challenges um, here uh, to make um, images.ai a bit uh, richer and also a bit um, f more focused on the community and our task. And I want to remind you on, on Blade Runner and this idea uh, with this Tyrell collaboration has with Nexus that it should have its own memory, that, uh, that it should have its past. And this is also something we lack a lot in the um, current AI. It needs a cultural memory, and it needs digital humanities to give it the cultural memory and um, to have a domain training as we heard it before. And here you see uh, this corpus of saints, and we trained it as we used the pre-trained network, and you see the results only has to do with, with certain regions in the picture, whereas the domain training really uh, is very widespread, checks everything in the image, which is for that task very important because a lot of uh, hints you get in the background, attributes showing up, uh, not on the person itself, and so on. So here you really see how much that helps by identifying, even some saints, saints may also be uh, identified by style because in that um, century they are very prominent and so on. A real challenge we have um, besides doing, uh, having training data and having good training data is the data problem in general. You see here we have yellow, the libraries who have all, also very uh, many pictures we have big data sets like Prometheus, Oropiana, Photo Marburg, and so on. Uh, very uh, prominent uh, commercial players like Google with Arts and Cultures, and on the other side, the art market, also not sharing with the others. But for us as researchers, we somehow need it all, and um, we uh, have to say that it's kind of a dark net in some ways. Things are not findable. Many of them are not open access. And these data sets are not fully connected. And we would need a lot of time to put them all 
in images.ai, so we need other solutions for that. Thanks you. Thank you. <laughs>